What's up? My name is Technobay here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through a complete optimization for a Crisis 2 Remastered. If you'd like to see Crisis 3 Remastered, check the description down below for a guide on that. Now, unlike other optimization guides, I'm not just going to give you a list of things that you should change to what values. Instead, I'm going to show you the effect that each and every graphics option has on my FPS and in turn yours as well. I don't have the most up-to-date 3090 or anything like that. I've got a 1080 Ti, so effects that you see here should be be pretty accurate across all different graphics cards of all different ranges. If you'd like to get even more FPS, do check my Windows 10 and Windows 11 optimization guides linked in the description down below. With that being said, let's get into it. As there's a lot of close quarters combat, I did have to travel quite far in order to get to somewhere this populated with foliage and people. With my current settings on a 1080 Ti, I'm getting around 58-59 FPS, which is basically perfect. Do make sure that you have VSync off if you're going to do any benchmarking of your own. Escape, Options, Graphics, make sure that the resolution matches your display's resolution as well as the refresh rate down here. Make sure that VSync is turned off for the highest possible FPS and lowest possible input latency, and window mode is set to full screen as well. The anti-aliasing option here may have some effect, going from 58-ish FPS on SMAA 2x to just 1x, there's no difference. CAA, I'm gaining about 1 FPS, and SMAA, no difference once again. Anti-aliasing shouldn't have a huge effect on your computer, but that's to be expected here. Changing the system spec preset here changes all the advanced options. So on very high, I'm getting 60 FPS. On high, I'm getting 62 FPS. Medium, about 90. And low, around 120 FPS, which is really good. Especially considering that I'm playing at 2K on rather outdated hardware, 1080 Ti. Let's get into changing some of the more finer options. I played this game through until this point and probably will continue to do so on the very high preset as it just looks very nice. Being a single player stealth shooter, having the highest FPS isn't necessarily required. With the very high preset, I'm getting around 30 FPS now, which is a bit lower than before, but I guess things were adjusted for my computer. Anyways, we'll be working from here. 30 FPS on very high. I'll head into Options, Advanced Graphics, and we'll start with Object Detail. Very high, 30 FPS, high, still exactly the same. 30 FPS, medium, still 2930, and low, still 30 FPS, meaning that you're probably not going to notice any sort of meaningful change by changing this option. I'll change this back up to very high as it makes no difference. Particles, on very high, I get 30 FPS, on high, still 2930, medium, 2930, and of course, low, still 2930. This isn't going to make any sort of noticeable difference unless you're getting extreme frame drops during explosions and other things going on on your screen that are particle effects. Changing this option shouldn't affect your overall FPS, and we've just seen that now. So once again, I leave particles on very high, unless you're getting really bad frame drops during combat. Post-processing, very high, leaves me at 30 FPS, and let's try high. 2930, medium, 30, 31-ish, and low, 31, 32-ish. Meaning that I'm gaining a couple of FPS, though being such a small amount, I wouldn't really bother with this. Once again, I'd leave this on medium or high. The shading, starting from 30 FPS on very high, leaves me on 29, 30 FPS on high, 30, 31 on medium, and 32 on low. Once again, only a few FPS difference here. With this option, I'd leave it on medium. With shadows on very high, I'm getting 30, 31 FPS, high, 31, 32, medium, 32, and low, 33, 34. Usually, as with every game, unless you're paying extreme attention to the environment and you care about how the game looks, you can usually drop the shadow quality without losing too much quality in-game. Everything will still look amazing with medium or low shadows. So, I for one will be leaving these on low. The water quality isn't going to make a huge difference here as there isn't a ton of water, but of course this experimentation will be left up to you. Just for clarity's sake, I will be touching on this here. So, with very high, I'm now getting 34 FPS. High, still 34, medium, still 33, 34, and low, unsurprisingly, still 33. If you find your gameplay to be laggy around water, do try and drop the water quality here. I for one will be leaving this on medium or high. Now for the optimization that will affect old graphics cards more than new ones, the texture options. Of course, this is almost completely dependent on how much VRAM your graphics card has, so the older it is, the lower the setting should be, of course. I'll start with very high. I'm getting 33 FPS. On high, 34. Medium, 34, 35. And finally low, still 34, 35. As the 1080 Ti does have quite a bit of VRAM, this isn't something you have to worry about too much. I for one will be leaving it on very high. 
This places me at around 35 FPS. Now we get to the ray tracing quality section, which I'm not too sure how exactly this is enabled as my graphics card doesn't support RTX, so I'm guessing it's using some kind of other ray tracing technology. On high, I'm getting 35, 34 FPS. Placing this on very high, I'm getting about 16, 17 FPS, meaning there's a huge drop there, halving my FPS. Setting ray tracing to performance, the lowest setting, gives me 55 FPS. Now I'll go ahead and set it to disabled. Apply, and to be expected, I'm now at 82, 83 FPS, 84, which is a huge change. Of course, you're not really gonna notice too much with ray tracing on or off, depending on what kind of gameplay you're going for, but I'd always leave this on the lowest option, in this case, disabled. And finally, motion blur, I'd usually leave this on low or disabled, but of course, this is all up to your preference. If you have a graphics card that supports DLSS, obviously, the higher the setting is, the lower your FPS will be. Though, of course, the resolution will also not be too far off your base resolution, meaning that the game will look really crispy and nice. So with that being said, this is probably where I'll play the game through to completion at. I've gone up from an average of around 60 to around 80 at the end of the video, and I do think it looks really good. If you cranked everything down to low, you can easily expect to get 120-ish FPS with a 1080 Ti or maybe even higher. But as with everything, it's all up to the experience that you want to take out of the game. As it's a single player game, you usually don't need more FPS, so you can stick with whatever you'd like. But regardless, my name's been Techno B here for Troubleshoot, hopefully you found this video somewhat enlightening, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.